Ready? Uh, please walk up. I just should have impromptu little number by the one and only. I want to do. You got a song for us, Robert? Can I call you up for a song? Try being a gay kid watching a Hollywood movie in the 1950s. Yeah. Oh, I'll never forget and forever regret when I was a tot and a teen. I was a cinema dope, clear through cinema scope. And I gazed at the stars as if between bars for some wee glimpse of me on the screen. Clark Gable was burly, Betty Grable was girly, and I fell somewhere in between. <laughs> like a vampire, my face was reflected no place, not a trace of my race to be seen. Sure, cowboys always had pals, but they always fought over gals. You had to belong to be Thay Ray or King Kong. <laughs> or absurd or obscene. Peter Lawford was airy, Joan Crawford was scary. <laughs> I fell somewhere in between. <laughs> Deborah Carr told a shy, gentle guy that one doesn't have to conform to society's norm. But after tea and sympathy, <laughs> of course it turned out that he wasn't. <laughs> then later and later, the revival theater kept the tears of those years ever green. Nelson Eddy was sterile. Dear Betty was feral. <laughs> Danny Kay was conspicuous. Marlena ambiguous. <laughs> Charles Bronson <laughs> revenged. Gloria Swanson unhinged. Judy <laughs> was sweet. And Marlon mere meat. <laughs> Stella! Fell <laughs> somewhere in between. Yes. I fell somewhere in between. <laughs> Show, put Robert on. Yeah! Alright, welcome to the stage. Speaking of shows, he's